Yo, hey guys, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to remove grayscale from your coloring book interior pages. And I promise you, this will be the most easiest tutorial that you will see and you guys can follow because it's pretty much really easy. You don't have to open up Photoshop or Photopia to edit your picture. So if you guys like this video, it will help me a lot if you guys smash that like button. And without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so here we are. I've got a three coloring a book interior pages. And as you guys can see, these are some image that have been generated from my AI generation, which is Mid Journey. And you guys can see the image, every image they get the gray scale right here, which is not suitable for people when they want to color the pages. So for our objective for today's video is actually I will be showing how to remove this gray thingy from each of this image so i'm just showing you three image and let's see the result for all of these three images. is it good or is it bad okay now what you guys have to do as usual is just open up your web browser it doesn't matter if you guys are using firefox or you guys are using google chrome now what you guys have to do is just a type in your firefox just type five five k o which is f i v e k o dot com or you guys can also check in my description i will put the link of this website in my description okay now type in fivico and press enter and then they will bring us to this web page right here now this web page is actually a image editor a free image editor that you guys can use now what you guys have to do is just go to the search box right here and then you have to type in trash hole okay trash hole and then press enter and then you guys scroll and then you guys can see right here they type in image trash hole back and white so just click on it and they will bring us to this page and now it is time to upload your image that you want to make it to remove the gray scale thingy okay now i'm just going to press browse and find my image that i would like to remove the gray scale okay press a large icon okay first of all let's start with this image of a Santa I think no I don't want I want to choose this robot first okay as you guys can see here the image look kind of weird why is it blurred and everything you guys can adjust the smooth and the threshold right here usually my setting I would like the smooth to be zero okay now you guys can see the image looks way better than before and maybe you guys can adjust the threshold the lower the threshold, the brighter the image would be and it will remove the gray scale thingy. So the higher the threshold, the darker it will be. So I'm just going to, you guys can uh, adjust accordingly to your taste. So I think the best for this image, I think I will let it be maybe 120. Uh, they still have gray scale, so maybe I'm going to lower it to 90. Hey, okay now all you have to do is quite easy just press saved and you guys can open the image now you got this image which is they have removed the grayscale see it looks really easy but we uh, the work is still not completed because we need to make the picture not blurred to make it more higher resolution but i'm not going to do that right now because i'm going to what we call it remove the grayscale for all of the three pictures that i've shown now for this is the first picture now let's do the other two picture so you guys can adjust accordingly which one that you like maybe lower it again the, the lower you put the the more whiter the image would be so for this image i think i will let it to be maybe 75 and I think that looks good enough. And one thing you guys can click is this button original and they will show you how it looks like before you guys have edited the image. Press original and it will show you like this. So if you want to go back to after the edit, just click on the dot right here and you will back to the edit feature. Okay, now we're good. Now we are going to save this and we got the second picture now let's compare it with the original image and we'll see how does it look like it looks much better don't worry if you guys think it's look blur don't worry i will show you the 
the solution to it now last but not least let's make the third picture which is this santa claus right here so smooth just make sure it to be zero and you guys can adjust uh, how high the threshold would be for me this image i would like it to be around 80 okay every picture have their own settings that you guys can use and just press save and we have completed our third image let's see where's the original image okay you guys can see this is after and this is before now we have completed uh, remove the grayscale from the image now it is time to make the image resolution to be a little bit more higher so that it looks a little bit more prettier now what you guys have to do is just open up a new tab and then just type in upscaled uh, sorry what do you call it upscale I think okay this thing right here upscal okay click on it and then you guys have to download this uh, software just download and install or if you guys don't want to up uh, download and install you guys can also use appscale.media you guys can also use this but for me I just like to use this software because it will upscale image in a box so you guys can upscale around 10 image in one time 20 image in one time okay so now let's just close everything Okay, now it's time to open up my software upscale. Okay, now after you guys have installed your software, it will look like this. Okay, you just go to settings. You guys can maybe change if you want the image to be JPEG or PNG. The upscale team, uh, just leave it as upscale. Uh, don't post process image. Uh, image scale, I like it to be times two. I don't want it to be too high resolution because in the end, it's just a black and white image. Save output uh, folder, you can put the output folder. Okay, you guys can just follow my settings and you guys can choose the folder, the destination the image would be. Okay, now it is time to upscale the image. You guys can add either batch upscale, which is upscale a lot of image in one time, or you can upscale one image at a time. But for this sake of this video, I'm just going to upscale one image at a time because I want to show you guys how does it look like. Okay, I'm going to select image and then I'm just going to choose the image that we have to remove the upscale which is this robot. Okay, this robot right here as you guys can see it looks kind of blurry. Okay, select model just choose the general photo real as gun. Double at scale I uh, don't need because it will duplicate the resolution the high resolution we don't want that. Set output folder you guys can choose the destination of your picture and then just press upscale and let it load for a minute and we have rendered the image okay as you guys can see here this is image before we have rendered and this is the image after you have rendered and you guys can see how much it looks better because before you guys can see the blurry color like the drawing is not straight and you guys can see the after it looks way better and the lines are way smoother and that's pretty much it you have downloaded you guys can see i have downloaded the image which is right here which is looks really good than before okay and let's try for the other picture Wait, where is it okay okay we are going to render other picture we are going to render this image and just let all of this do the same and then just press upscale and then let it render again for a minute okay and you guys can see this is before and this is after this is before this is after and the after looks really good actually okay and last but not least the third picture is the santa robot is this santa i think this is santa and then i'm just going to press upscaled Okay, let it render for a minute and this is before and this is after and that's pretty much it you guys have un you have removed the grayscale of all of those three picture this pretty much it easy is it so let me show you the before and after for each of the image so this is the before the grayscale image and this is the after okay and now for the robot okay this is the before and this is the after 
Okay, this is the grayscale robot, as you guys can see. And this is the after the right picture. And yes. So, yeah, do you agree with me how easy it took for us to remove the grayscale? And it will help me a lot if you guys smash that like button. And if you want to see more, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya.